What's up, everybody? This is Lavon Kaysen here, back at it again with another reaction video. And this reaction video is going to be a tech-related reaction video, not a gaming reaction-related video, but a tech-related one. And there's a new phone that is supposed to be coming out soon, and it is called the OnePlus 10 Pro. And we're going to see the unboxing from Unbox Therapy. He's a very famous tech YouTuber. So let's begin and let's check it out. Today we have the new OnePlus device, OnePlus 10 Pro. Obviously this version in front of me came from China. This year it launched there first. Okay. But of course, I wanted to be prepared with the latest later cases. You can pre-order these on the website, you might get it before the phone. They now have this collaboration with Oppo bringing both brands under one roof. That may have something to do with this device launching in China first. So inside, we're gonna have the latest from Snapdragon, the 8 Gen okay, 1, 8 Gen gigs run. of RAM, 256 storage. There is not RAM, currently an IP rating. Storage. That may change okay. when the device launches. 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 80 watt fast charging, 50 watt wireless charging. They still have this Hasselblad co-development working on the cameras together. There is a new camera here as well, a 50 megapixel ultra wide with a very wide field of view. A Little bit of paperwork over here. It looks like they've changed their uh, terminology to hyperboost. I haven't seen that wording before. Here is the device I was a Isn't it just amazing what OnePlus has become? I mean, back in the old days you know there used to be known as this company that offer you know flagship spec phone for like lower prices than what the flagships of that time were normally priced at but now they just became another company that just you know offer a flagship phone at flagship prices and i think the new i guess one plus is a uh, poco picto I, I don't know if i'm saying that right and they got a phone that is a uh, the Poco F3 and it has a Snapdragon 870 and <laughs> I think it's like what $500 on Amazon or you can probably find it cheaper if you go to uh AliExpress or something like that. So, it's just interesting to see how, what OnePlus has become at this point to what they were compared to what they were back then. Like, it is just um, interesting to me. This might be the other color. Nothing against the other color. It's like a greenish, but it has a little sparkle in it apparently. And uh, I, as far as what I'm gonna use, it's usually gonna be the boring old black model, especially considering that I'm gonna slap a very thin later case on there and then the black just kind of blends. Also in the package, they give you a case. This is a free plastic case. Yeah. It's a basic case, it says never settle on it. 80 watt Super VU, typical OnePlus USB A to C cable. Ooh, so that's a very matte black finish. It looks like it kind of resists fingerprints as well, which is really good. You can see another change on the back it is looks this like a nice uh, ring phone, light though. in this location. OnePlus 10 Pro. It is an unusual layout. It really does look like a nice phone. Like I'm being real. It really does. Square, kind of bulge. Not an enormous lift. Well, you still get quite a rattle. So that's a quite a shift for OnePlus. Here is the 9 Pro, here is the 10 Pro. Similar form factor, but much different in the camera area. Volume yeah, definitely rocker is gonna different. be on this side, over on the bottom, USB-C connector, as well as our SIM tray. SIM tray, dual SIM capable. This does have a tiny little gasket on it, which uh, should aid in uh, exposure. Is there a micro SD card? We have our power switch as well as the legendary alert slider from OnePlus. This has a textured feeling so you can understand where it is without even looking. Of course, that'll help you set between vibrate and silent. Oh wait, I just realized something. I don't think it has a micro SD Front facing card. camera is up in the so. top corner. But we have Gorilla Glass Victus. Nice. Free case time. Pretty straightforward type of setup. Later case option, flaps on easily, perfect. 
you can see the way that this one covers most of the camera module here and creates an independent aperture for each camera to poke out. But when you lay it down, it sits on the case instead of the camera area. Fingerprint face and of course password. So, I so tend this to have is the fingerprint setup, as well as the much. face enabled. Sometimes fingerprint's better. Sometimes face unlock is better. Ah, so here's a change. Now that we have this tighter integration between OnePlus and Oppo on the Chinese release, we have Color OS running all the way up to QHD plus 3216 by 1440 wow. standard will lock okay. the refresh at 60 okay. hertz to conserve battery. I'll wow. select for high, which is 120 hertz. I suppose with 5,000 milliamp hours of battery, uh, you're probably going to be all right. Also, this has reverse wireless charging, so you can recharge a set of earbuds oh, on the back okay, side. Oh, okay, that's in pretty section. cool. Here is that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty now, cool. I have a beauty mode by default. Let's check. I do. Let's turn that off. Ooh, I kind of like that sound effect. <laughs> Beard hair test, it passes. 32 megapixel selfie, so plenty of pixels. I think you can pick up some dog hair on my hat. Like it actually Yeah, I can see the dog hair a little bit. I can definitely like to see my that. my taste, I typically prefer something like this. I'm surprised because many manufacturers go the opposite way with it. Front facing video is limited to 1080p. This is our 1X option on the camera. Front facing video limited to 1080p. Oh my God. Oh my God. Camera? That just sick. sucks, Let's honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it honestly Quite sucks, like for real. It really does suck. Oh, now if you change it to high, it will go into 50 megapixel mode on the 0.6 camera. Let's try that out. Yeah, this is a little bit wider. This is max. I mean, that's a that's a wide shot. It's yeah, kind it of definitely a must. is a wide 2022, shot. 2022, you have to have it. This is an important feature, 150 degree wide. So this goes into like a fisheye effect. If I go here, it'll even... I'm gonna see some gaming really performance on this thing. thing. Ultra wide. Some people do want... That's what I want to see, some gaming performance. Such. There's a portrait mode built in. Right, it's, it smoothed you. Look at this, you don't have, your skin is not that nice. Stop it, well. Video, we can shoot up to 8K resolution at 24 frames. Obviously we can do 4K, but I don't know, for fun, let's do the 8K, let's try it out. Hey Mo, I'm recording you in 8K at 24 frames. It's cinematic, man. <laughs> I'm gonna change from shooting you to shooting the classic plant. Look at this plant. <laughs> it's got so much detail. We're shooting it in 8K even though you're not watching it in 8K. It's all right. Just wanna make sure you know that you can. Wow, I didn't know you were doing it like that. You mean, do yin. I'm happy with that escape. Does anyone really mess with OnePlus phones like that anymore in 2022? Like, that is a legit question. Like, do people really buy OnePlus phones like that? Ever since that they just became another flagship phone manufacturer, basically. Like, does anyone really, you know, buy them like that? I think this might be better than TikTok here. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? This is our audio. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Yeah. It's pretty loud. Oh. Oh. What? Because she's like at the nightclub now? Or I don't know. Ooh, man. Oh, let's go. What? Let's go. It's obviously not real. All right. Yeah, it's loud. Uh, speakers are loud. Uh, you can watch uh, Du Yin, TikTok, completely up to you. This is an early look, right? This is the Chinese model, as I mentioned. Some stuff could change. Maybe the appearance of the software. Is it going to have Color OS exactly like this on the global version or the version that comes here to North America? Obviously, the improvements here are mostly to do with the latest Snapdragon, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Where's the gaming charger. performance? Oh, and the ultra -wide, 50 megapixel ultra wide. So one plus. Where's 10 the gaming Pro. performance? Early unboxing. Quick. That's what That's I want to see with this. That's it.
Snapdragon Today's eight sponsor Nord eight Gen one. This is a no brainer. If you're out there browsing unprotected, no VPN, you're susceptible. They might be looking at you. Your telco might have all your information. They might turn around and sell it. You need know what for. It's time to step your game up on the internet to protect your privacy that is so precious oh. worth selling in the first place. NordVPN shields your browsing from criminals and surveillance. Nobody wants that. It's a secure tunnel, but it's still fast, still providing tremendous bandwidth for all your streaming needs because you still want to watch the video almost over. Okay. content on the internet. Okay. You can secure all your devices, Mac OS, Windows, Linux, Android, iOS, and you can secure up to six devices with a single account, including your router. Plus, you can access the global internet, connect reliable encryption, fastest VPN on the planet, 5,100 plus servers worldwide. Stupid simple. NordVPN.com slash Unbox Therapy. The details will be in the description. NordVPN.com slash Unbox Therapy. Okay, what is this unboxing? Out of nowhere, Willie Dude just brought a surprise. Super Moon Japanese style cheesecakes. Cheesecakes. Give it a try. Let's see oh, these the Japanese style cheesecakes. You cheese can pick cakes. it up with the holes on the. It's like a bowling ball. That's good. Pa like first it goes into this bag, fresh, fluffy, out of this world, and then this with the moon and the bowling ball. Ooh. Yeah. Look at the golden brown. Oh. Look at the look at Otis. It looks yummy. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it so definitely soft. looks yummy. Looks so like tender. something that I would want to eat. Look at the jiggle. That looks so delicious. Is it good? A fluffy, cloudy? I'm eating a cloud, a super cloud. That looks like a nice cloud mm. that I won't want to eat. It just melts. Just, you do no work. There's no work. The cake does the work for you. All you gotta do is get it there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely great time. Super Moon Japanese style cheesecakes. Little bonus round. I'm uh, an ad. Fool, and there's a reason I come to CES every year. Skip this. Oh, the video's over. Okay, so that was the OnePlus 10 Pro unboxing and first look. It seems like a good phone, but is it really going to be worth that price tag? Probably not. Again, there's another company out there that is um, called uh, Poco. And they've been making, you know, flagship quality phones but sell them at lower prices, such as the Poco F3, which has a Snapdragon 870, and that's pretty much powerful enough to run any game. You know, it'll run your Call of Duty Mobiles, it'll run your Genshin Impacts, and all those other games at, like, high to max setting. So, that would be a good enough phone for most people, and, I mean, for $500... Hey, I would I would get that phone, like honestly, and I would just be fine with that. But are any of you guys going to pick up the OnePlus 10 Pro? Like, let me know in the comment section below this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. And do you are you guys liking the reaction videos? Like, let me know in the comment section below. Like, peace. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications, so that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.